Well, hello, hello, all my amazingly beautiful Taurus friends. My name is Libra Empress, and we're going to be discussing your horse, well, not horoscope, tarot for today. Yeah. Anyway, now remember that this is a general reading, and this is for yours as well as for my entertainment. And also, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That way you'll always be up to date with the content that I produce, and you'll be a part of our family, all right? All right, now let's get going, shall we? Now, my beautiful Tauruses, I have past, present, and future here. That's three piles. When we get to the future, remember that is not set in stone, and you have a choice in the matter now. If the past and the present resonate, then the future might happen, or it might not. It all depends on what you decide, all right? We also have a fourth pile here. That is anywhere between past, present, and future. That could happen. And then I'll read you the bottom of the deck, all right? All right I love you. Let's get started, shall we? Now, my beautiful Tauruses, your past energy is the Ace of Wands. New tasks, motivation, and energy oh yes you are you are on a roll first clarifier is five of hazards poverty financial loss and anxiety you were going through something maybe loss of a home maybe having to move back home worrying about our parents and their health their deteriorating health I don't know, Taurus. This is yours. You had to decide two wands between two roads. Make a decision and making choices. Do I go left or do I go right? And you chose all right because it led you to the star, which is an Aquarius. You're gaining recognition inspiration and achievements so this is the Aquarius card it's to say that there's an Aquarius in your midst but also well there's this it could just mean that you're getting your wish fulfillment you solved your problem you knew that that glass was half full not half empty right <laughs> current energy is the knight of wands bold impetuous and adventure this is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius He's always there at the right time, at the right place. It's like he's got GPS. So you're dealing with that. An Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You're dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Brave ego, lack of emotion. So I feel strongly that this might be one of those three. And that they rush in, say what they gotta say, without, con without the feel of consequences. And then you know, leave a mess in their wake. But that's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you gotta trudge through. You're dealing with the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Someone who's romantic, full of adventure, and very, very, very fucking moody. Now, Taurus, in his story, in my book, it talks about him running off with your heart. So this could be a player, someone you know who wants to steal your heart. Currently, this is your current energy. Currently, you are very selfish, hoarding, and possessive. You don't want shit to change. You're scared of change. But change is unavoidable. You don't want to share what you've got with anybody. You just want to take care of your family. And to take care of you, most importantly. Future energy, remember, not set in stone, is the Ten of Wands. Burdens, responsibilities, and struggle. You are being put through the ringer. You're handling so much shit that you're having a hard time stopping and grieving for what's going on. You catch wind that there's a Three of Swords, which is a heartache, jealousy, and loss card. This shows that there's a third party, okay? Could be that you have a significant other that your significant other doesn't know about. Or the third party is a circle between you, your significant other, and someone else. You know what I mean? So the, the, the third party could be on your side or on their side. Okay? Or it could be a relative butting into your relationship on your side or their side that's trying to, to get you guys to split. To get you to understand that you're better than that or they're better than that. Right? Or this could signify that there are there's a third party, but not in the sense of a human being. Could be work related, works 
taking a toll and they're choosing work over the relationship. They're choosing drugs, alcohol, they're choosing um, games, porn, addictions, you know what I mean? Anything can be a third party that's causing a rift and a conflict within your relationship. Okay, so with that, you move into the Ace of Swords, Trials, Intellect, and Action. You gotta think. You gotta think about what you're gonna say and how you're gonna say it to who you're gonna say it to. Okay, you could say something and completely cut somebody off, but then you might need them later, or vice versa. So you don't wanna burn your bridges unless it's absolutely necessary. Now, so far, I'd say, yeah, cut them off if if they're involving you in a third party and they they tend to see you as an option. Which, by the way, my beautiful empresses and burrs, you are not a fucking option. You are the main course. Two of hazards. Balance, harmony, and juggling responsibilities. You're juggling. And you're waiting for the cavalry to arrive. But guess what? It's coming. That's your future. Okay? Not necessarily bad, but it's an eye-opener. And it's not for everybody. Only for some... Okay, this is your fourth pile. Are you ready? It'll fit somewhere along this line. Seven of Swords, Theft, Sabotage, and Deception. Someone's lying, cheating, stealing, trying to ruin something good that you have, and you're sick of it. You're dealing with quarrels, strife, and competition while you and your friend are fighting over something absolutely fucking stupid. Okay, you don't think it's stupid and they don't think it's stupid, but it's something stupid. You're going to be losing your friendship, relationship, family, bonds, you know, over something stupid. So that's why I say to be careful what what you say and how you're, you know, be careful what you say, how you say it to who you're going to say it to. Do you know what I mean? The devil, temptation, excess, and self-destruction. You're dealing with a Capricorn. You're also dealing with someone who could be watching you and waiting for your downfall. Someone who's very toxic. Very, very toxic. They want you. I'm thinking they're stalking you. I don't see a soft stalker here. It's my soft stalker card here. But that doesn't mean that you're not being stalked. That just means that it enhances the meaning of what it's really going for. Alright? And that could be you down there. I don't know if you can see it. The hand. So be careful. The energy is way hot. Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You're dealing with someone who's inquisitive, headstrong, and observant. That toxic person is watching you for every move, and it's making you fucking nervous. Paranoid, full of anxiety and hopelessness. You're dealing with so much shit. So much. And you deserve better. Five of Cups, loss, sadness, and grief. Someone, you've either lost someone or you're about to lose someone. Be it if their life is lost to death, to cancer, for, for example. If their life's... Could even mean that, that you're losing on a situation, you know? The end of a relationship and you've got people back there I don't know if you can see them behind her that are watching they're watching you every move they, they know what you're going through but they don't understand what you're going through and that's you crying you don't know how to handle this Taurus you have the Sun card success enlightenment and hope success someone's coming to rescue you again Okay, it might not feel like it might feel like your glass is half empty and that's just how the situation is, but it's it's half full. You just gotta keep the faith and know that you're not alone. The chariot, you're dealing with cancer. Travel, conquest and progress. You're traveling. Trying to find better things around the horizon. Six of Wands, victory, success and recognition. <laughs> Everything's falling in place. Yeah, you're really sad and you've got some shit going on. 
but ultimately that's just how it goes sometimes we've got the death card new beginning transformation and rebirth a lot of tarot readers will tell you don't be scared of the death card because it doesn't always mean death yeah it doesn't always mean death but it could signify it and with the with the loss and sadness card I feel that that might happen this year okay but that's not for everyone three of hazards recognition hard work and skill you're gaining recognition for your hard work and you're you're growing your skills all right Taurus you are meeting with a Sagittarius temperance card huh balance alchemy cooperation you are an empress remember when I told you you're an empress you are fertility maternal and success the best way to get to being emperor and empress is to go through some shit and grow wisdom along the way and learn what what to hop in and what not to hop in. Do you know what I mean? Like there are problems that will throw themselves at you and you have a choice in the matter of how you react. For every action there's a positive or negative reaction. And you chose to sidestep or positively react to something negative and you're growing every day, evolving, all right? Five of Swords, defeat, bickering, and severing ties. This might have to do with the Three of Swords in the future, but it could also mean that it could be a close friendship, family member, you know, someone that you just, you're not seeing eye to eye with right now, and that's okay. Ten of Swords, disaster, rot, ruin, and destruction. You're fighting for everything you have, everyone you love, and you're not giving up. You are the fool. New journey, first steps, and hasty choices. There's no baggage on you. You're starting fresh. You're not going to let anything hold you back, even the loss. You know that the time you spent with your loved ones was well spent. And you cherish those moments every day. And they cherish them as well, even if they're no longer living or if they're at the end of their life. They know that they got to spend time with you, and that's what mattered most. All right, Taurus. And that's what's so great is the Ten of Cups. Peace, contentment, and family. Yeah, shit's going down the drain, but guess what? You're with your family right here on the beach. Not necessarily on a beach, but in my card it shows them on the beach. You're having fun while chaos is ensuing way over there. You guys are right here. Not letting it affect you because you know that the small moments are what matter the most. Seven of Cups. Choices, consideration, and daydreams. You're daydreaming. You're making choices. And you're choosing to take the high road and be the empress you are meant to be. All right? Everything's going to be okay. I love you. And know that you are not alone in this. This is a mess. You're dealing with you're dealing with a lot of heartache. And you know, it's not easy going over and over and over hitting into those road bumps. But those are lessons that that are thrown at us to help us grow. Sometimes they're karmic lessons, sometimes they're not. Either way, they those lessons should be cherished just as much as the person that is leaving you should be cherished. Because they're making you grow. Not just making you, helping you. And it's not going to be hard. My God, life is not meant to be easy. If it was, it wouldn't be life. Now, my beautiful empresses and emperors... Hope is on the way. You are definitely not alone, even though you feel like it. And you feel really, really alone. You don't think anybody can 
understand what you're going through because I I know what I know what you mean because of the card um, the one with the girl in the cemetery where people are surrounding you <sighs> you don't feel like you can trust anyone and you're just you're just keep fighting and fighting and fighting and you have such a good heart and such a beautiful soul don't give up all right don't give up now if um, you want to leave a comment but you don't want it to be broadcasted pu um, public on YouTube but you need someone to vent to someone with a non-judgmental ear go to my about tab look up my name get on Facebook Messenger and type in my whole name and you'll find me you don't have to go sorry for bothering you no just be like hey I'm Taurus I need to discuss something with you I need help I need a vent I need to be heard because no one's listening and and I feel like I'm going stir crazy I'm just I, I'm beside myself with grief I'm lost and I know that I'm an empress it's just right now I don't feel like it and you know what I'll bring a new perspective to what's going on with you and I'm there for you we're family alright everything's gonna be okay I love you Thank you so much for listening to me. My name is Libra Empress. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. And join me again for next time's tarot or tomorrow's daily horoscope, okay? All right. I do offer, um, on a side note, I do offer public or private um, tarot readings. But I just haven't been doing them lately. I've been just trying to get caught up on stuff. But that's all in the um, description box. Okay. I love you. Bye, my beautiful friends.